Hello everyone, my name is Cammie and welcome to my channel, Cammie's Corner. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so, so much for coming back on my channel. We do mainly back and body works and fragrance content with a sprinkle of Disney and lifestyle content. And in today's video, I am sharing kind of a collective Bath and Body Works haul as well as a Bath and Body Works outlet haul. So I do have a few semi-annual sale things. I have some exciting finds from the outlet and I do have a giveaway in this video as well. So if you want to find out information about the giveaway, make sure you stay till the end of this video as well as check the description for all of the rules. Um, I don't know when the giveaway is going to end like in my brain because I don't know when I'm going to be able to upload this because the day I'm recording this, it is Saturday, like the weekend of the 4th of July. So I think it's like the 6th today and I still don't have my computer. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to edit a video of this caliber on my phone because I want to put like clips of when I was in the outlet. I was able to put like pre-record like four candle reviews from Kringle and um, I was able to pre-record my empties as well as my Gingham Glow review and I was able to edit my Gingham Glow video really easily because it was like a four minute little video of like my first impressions and like first wear test. So I don't know when this video is going to go up. All the information about the actual giveaway will be down in the description like the day it's going to end but I'll give you like information of how to enter at the end. But let's get into the video. So I have, I'm going to start with like the SAS stuff because then the other bag is from the outlet and it's not technically some annual sales stuff. So my mom was out shopping and she stopped in a Bath and Body Works for me and picked out a couple of goodies for me, which is so nice. Um, I don't have the receipt, but she did buy these for me. So that was super, super kind of her. So she did find a one-off 75% off candle. This is the scent Spiced Cardamom, which I thought this was a fun find. This is Cinnamon Spiced Cardamom, Dark Cedar Wood, and a Pinch of Nutmeg. And this is very, very spicy very very spicy i thought this would be a cute like display like decoration candle or like a good fall candle i could not light this right now very very spicy but it was like six dollars and some change and she grabbed that for me so that was very nice and then she also grabbed me two of these wallflowers which i was so desperate for wallflowers even though i'm like this is probably not the scent that i'm gonna like i have like three fall wallflowers and i thought these could be okay for the fall so she grabbed me two of the almond croissant wallflowers these were like a dollar 99 it has notes of toasted almonds vanilla glaze and flaky croissant i don't know i feel like this is gonna be too foodie for me um but she was like you might like it so i just grabbed two i had her grab me two I didn't want to go overboard. They had like three buckets of these. So I don't know if they found like a random box in the back or just people did not like the scent. So let's open this up and give it a smell. Oh, ooh, I don't mind this at all. Wow, I kind of like this actually. It is like a very toasty, like sweet. Oh, I like it. It's a little nutty. Oh, I like it. That'll be a, a good fall scent for me. It's not like spicy fall or anything like that, but I just think that like almond croissant note would be nice to have in the fall. I like that a lot more than I was expecting, but I am glad she just bought me two because I did get a lot of wallflowers at some annual sale. You guys have probably already seen my everything I bought at the Bath and Body Works semi annual sale video. Hopefully, I was able to edit that and get that uploaded um, sometime, <laughs> sometime soon if I ever get my computer back because it's still being repaired. So like this stuff's not going to be included in it, even though technically it was bought during semi-annual sale, but not really because this was after the fact, but you know what I mean. Okay, so I think, was it Monday, I think? Like the first week in July, I believe, they dropped 75% off candles online and I went online for a Bopus order and um, I don't think I had an extra percentage,
but I was able to do a Bopus order. I did a Bopus order for three candles and one of them was Anna's Garden and they did cancel that, but that is okay. But my total um, was like $12 for these two candles. So the first one I grabbed was Ginger and Hinoki. It says, I created this fragrance to evoke a sense of balance and harmony, infusing the calming warmth of Hinoki with the fresh, uplifting vitality of ginger from India. I think this was part of like the Asian Heritage Month or something like that. I don't remember what it was called. Um, that collection. Gosh, I don't remember what it was called and that's going to drive me nuts. Um, I'm sure someone knows. Let me know in the comments. But this one has some notes of fresh ginger, hinoki wood, and orange zest. This is really like just like a punchy ginger zesty scent. I really like it. And for $6, good enough for me. And then this one was a blind buy. I don't think I ever smelled this one in the store. Um, I did smell this one before and I knew I liked it. But this one, roasted sesame. Again, I'm not usually a gourmand girly. This one has scent notes of roasted sesame, toasted hazelnut, and sweet maple. But for some reason, I don't mind this one at all. I don't even know how to describe it. It's got like kind of a, a salty, kind of like bready taste. Taste. Oh my gosh. Scent. Don't eat your candles. Scent. Bready scent. It's giving me that, but I don't know. But... For $6, I like it. It says, sweetened black sesame is at the heart of a traditional and historic Korean dessert that is very special to me. Like a, car a carefully crafted fragrance, its creation is a true labor of love. So I was able to get that. I don't know what collection this one was from either. Um, it says, it's like the bustling Indian spice markets of my travels come beautifully to life. Maybe these are all from the same collection. I'm not sure. Someone someone let me know. Um, yeah, I don't know what collections those are from. Um, I do love Bath & Body Works candles, but I'm not someone that like keeps up with the... Sorry, if you can hear Dolly. I'm not someone who keeps up with like all the different collection names of candles because I typically just buy at Candle Day or 75% off. So I did find another candle. Okay, so those two candles were Bopus. And then when we went in store to pick up the Bopus order, I found some candles. I also took a picture. I'll throw it up on the screen of the, the set, this very small and sad 75% off section that they had. But they had one of these candles. So I was like, I'll grab it. This is the scent Gwen's Note. It says, sandalwood is one of my favorite materials of my personal palette. The intriguing dualities of warm and cool, caring and sensual elements have made it a signature note I use in many of my creations. This is creamy sandalwood, sage, soft lavender. So I like this one. It's like a spa scent. This is a really safe scent. So I grabbed that for $6 and some change. And they had two of these hand soaps. Both of them were missing just like a little bit. Um, but I never got anything from this collection, which made me so sad. This one says you're the doggone best. And this is rainbow cereal. I would have grabbed the other one. But the other one was very, very sticky. Like very, very goopy and sticky. So I didn't grab that one. But I did grab one of them. This is a rainbow cereal scent. So fruity cereal, crunch, and a splash of milk. I know this scent is very hit or miss, but I love it. So those were all like kind of my semi-annual sale finds. And then now we have my very exciting outlet haul. So I did grab um, a couple things for some other friends as well as a giveaway. But look at this long receipt. I went shopping at the Pleasant Prairie Outlet in Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin. This is July 6th and I saved... $213 and I spent 67 so a little bit of a bigger purchase for me. Um, and I purchased 20 items. I did have an extra 20% off coupon as well as a, um, a bar soap coupon that my friend Sarah from um, Sarah Bombas, which is her YouTube channel, and then Bath Body Love is her Instagram. I'll link them down in the description below. Sarah is a really great friend of mine, and she sent me a cute little card with a coupon to get a bar soap because she knows myself and my husband like the bar soaps. So we were able to use that coupon, and my husband picked out the Whiskey Reserve. He's been dying to get his hands on this um, cleansing bar, and they haven't really done any like good soap sales lately. So thank you so much, Sarah. 
he can now add the scent into his collection. So shout out to you, Sarah. Go check her out. She does lots of Bath and Body Works and fragrance content as well. And she is amazing. So that first thing was a little freebie. Okay, so the outlet. There was a bunch of 50% off stuff. I honestly didn't even look at it. They had a bunch of $3 soaps. Sorry, I was rudely interrupted by my phone telling me I'm out of phone storage. So I had to delete some of my older videos off my phone, but they had some $3 body care. Nothing that was super intriguing to me because I got distracted, honestly, and I'll show you in a minute. Um, they had some 75% off like candle, I think was roasted sesame, the same scent. Here, I did take a few clips and some pictures. They had a couple of room sprays, which I got the two that they had, so I'm not gonna spoil that yet. They had a $3 body care table. It was kind of like some random shower gels, like an old packaging of In the Stars. Um, some of the shower gels of Among the Clouds. The Bridgerton collection is still 50% off in the outlet. They had a bunch of $3 wallflowers. Didn't even look at that. I got plenty of wallflowers at Sass. Um, $3 soaps. They had a couple 75% off soaps, mainly strawberry pound cake and iced lemon pound cake, which you guys know how I feel about strawberry pound cake at least. And I don't really need hand soaps, so I don't love iced lemon pound cake. So I passed on that. They had a super awesome 50% off find, which I'll put up on the screen now. They had Paris Amour. So I know that scent was leaked and it was supposed to come out with Tahiti Island Dream and Wild Madagascar Vanilla during semi-annual sale. They scrapped it for some reason and it is now popping up at the outlets for 50% off. It's only the body cream and the fine fragrance mist. After I left, there were probably 20 fine fragrance mists left. So if you're in the area, they might still have them. Um, they were on the 50% off table, but the fine fragrance mist were ringing up for $5.95, which was cool. They had so many 50% off candles. I literally don't understand why they're not 75% off. They had one specific candle for $6, which I thought was weird. And I'll talk about that because it's a little bit older to my knowledge. Um, What else? I'm trying to think. They had a couple car fragrances. They had Tis the Season, Winter Candy Apple. Didn't need those. And then they had, let's see. Fresh Cut Lilacs, that was another one. They had a couple of aromatherapy scents, I believe, in the 75% off. Um, there were so many employees in the store, and I don't like to get anybody in the camera, so I didn't really film too much. I didn't film any of the 50% off stuff. Um, even the Paris Amour I didn't film because it's right up by the register, and I don't want to be annoying to anybody. Um, but yeah, $3 Wallflowers, the whole, this collection... 75% off, however, pretty picked over. I'll talk about that in a minute. And then they had some like Christmas body care for 75% off, which I think I filmed. And that should be it. The $3 table, again, it just had random body care in it. Um, they had that like perfume lip gloss, like luminous duo thing for 75% off. I think I might've got that in video. And then they had a $3 soap table right when you walked in but I did not take a picture of that because it was on a cart right by the employee so I didn't want to get her in the video or picture um so I think that's it for my chit chat but again like I said you guys look at this receipt I had a 20% off burning a hole in my pocket and I've seen some pretty cool finds that people have found on Facebook like in various Bath and Body Works groups at their outlets um I mainly went in for this stuff this collection because it never went, it never dropped to 75% off at some annual sale. And in stores, it was like $5.95, I believe. And I didn't want to pay that for some of the items. Um, we're still looking for the sweet tea and lemonade hand soap. I hope it pops up at the outlet for cheaper than $3. But yeah, um, nothing too crazy at the outlet. They did have a 75% off, a couple 75% off single wicks, I think. Um, and then that roasted sesame candle. But I think that's it done with my chit chat so we're going to start with the random one-off item that i think is so incredibly weird 
I found this Somebody Loves You candle for $6. It's got this beautiful Happy Easter lid. This one was originally $26.50. And I messaged my friend Chris from this guy's shops um, because he he's better at remembering dates and everything. And I think he said this came out in 2022. I'm not really sure. I don't know how to read the candle labels but if it came out in 2022 i think it's very strange that there were a couple of them at some or at some angle sale at the outlet for six dollars there was only one on the display but i could see on the back counter they were holding them for employees which is fine i know they do that it does not bother me at all and one of the employees was like oh i don't like this one and then they put it back so there was one left by the time i left um i don't love this scent uh, so I didn't grab both of them. I probably should have because they ended up being $4.80 with my 20% off. But I wanted to save them for somebody else. So I only got one. This is the sweet carrot cake scent. This is sweet cream cheese frosting, fluffy carrot cake, and cinnamon spice. And normally, I don't like the smell of this one. I don't know if my brain's turning into a gourmand girly. But I don't mind this candle at all. And the packaging is just super, super cute for the springtime so that was about four dollars and some change only candle that i grabbed um hopefully those 50 percent off candles go 75 percent off at the outlet soon but whenever i see a decent scent for 75 percent off in the car fragrances i'm gonna grab them so i grabbed two of the fresh cut lilacs i felt like that was a pretty safe scent and these ended up being i think 90 cents or something like that Let's see. Yep, 99 cents. So what a dollar. So I got two of those. And then they did have a couple hand soaps that I was interested in. So they had a bunch of this pink peach blossom, but I only needed one. This is peach nectar, magnolia petals, and mandarin. So this is more of like a fruity kind of floral scent. Um, I know my mom likes this one, but I think she's pretty stocked up on soap. So I didn't ask her. Oh, this is so good. It kind of smells like a candy to me. So I believe these were like $1.49, $1.79. So great deal. And then the other one I grabbed, I honestly grabbed this because it was the only one left. This is Chasing Daydreams. And I just thought the soap packaging was so cute. This is Bright Orange Zest, Glowing Magnolias, and Sparkling Sun Rays. This one was $1.49. Let's see, a dollar fifty nine because this one's seven ninety five and the other one is eight ninety five, which is crazy for hand soap. So this one was a little bit on the cheaper end. I've never smelled this one, but the notes smelled good, and it was the only one, so I felt like I had to grab it. Yeah, this is nice. It's not like overly fruity. Um, definitely the magnolia note kind of stands out to me, and now I have it on my leg because I accidentally spilled it. But yes, here is chasing daydreams. I cannot pass up a seventy five percent off soap, especially because I only got two at some annual sale. Um, so well, technically three because of this one. <laughs> so now I got five soaps. So that's fun. Um, let's see here. Oh, I got some wall, wall flowers. Oh my gosh, I cannot think today. I got some room fragrances. And I don't normally buy these, but because of the scents that they were, I'm like, I have to get these. They were 75% off. So we have Butterfly as well as Brightest Bloom. I mean, how could you say no to these? Um, and I didn't get any room sprays at, at Sass. So I was like, why not? $1.79. Steal of a deal. Butterfly is such a beautiful scent as well as Brightest Bloom. Those will be lovely in the springtime next year um i'll save the fine fragrance mist for the end of the video because that was kind of like the 5.95 fine fragrance mist sale um the rest of this stuff is this summer glow collection and i'm afraid i waited too long so the first thing i picked up was the glotion and solar shine this one has set notes of radiant coconut sunlit tuberose and bronze chonka this one just reminds me of sunscreen and it smells amazing this one is a hefty price point at 19.95 but at 75 percent off in my extra 20 percent off it ended up being four dollars so i only grabbed solar shine they had all three cents in the uh body butters but they're glotions i don't use glotions very much but this was my favorite scent in the collection so i just had to grab it so this is what it looks like it doesn't look like super sparkly but i'm sure it is oh it just smells so good i love that like tuberose scent very beautiful 
So I grabbed this for exactly $4. And then the other item I wanted to get in every single scent, but they only had it in the scent because I thought it was different because I don't know if they've done this before. This is the Shimmer Body Oil, but this is in the scent Vacation Vibe, Whipped Pistachio, um, Sun Drenched Jasmine and Praline Amber. And it says it absorbs quickly, leaves skin with a kiss of shimmer, shake well before use. And I wanted to get these in all of the scents, but they only had this one, which was a bummer. This one was also $19.95, or was this $18.95? No, they're both $19.95. So this was $4 with my coupon. Um, they did have the Diamond Shimmer Mist in the pink scent. But I don't want a diamond shimmer mist. I wanted to try out the oil. So I don't know how fast these come out. Oh, not very fast. Okay. Ooh, it's so glittery. I just thought a body oil was fun. I've never tried a body oil from Bath & Body Works. Look how shimmery that is. Oh, you know what? When you rub it in, it's really not like overly sparkly. Here's the difference in my arms. I don't know. I feel like this lighting is pretty hard to see. Um, on my hand, it's pretty glittery, but on my arm, it's just a really nice sheen. Oh my gosh. I wish they had more of this. I kind of like this a lot and it's not sticky either. And it dries like immediately. This is very nice. I wish they had other scents, but they didn't. And then another thing I wish they had other scents in, but they didn't is the glowing body scrub. I know I don't like these, but these scents are so good. I wanted it in each of the um, the scents, but they didn't have it. So we just settled for the Vacation Vibe, which is the same scent notes as earlier. This is a little bit cheaper than the Body Butter at $18.95, which is crazy. So this is $3.80 with my extra coupon. Couldn't believe that. And then I got each of the shower gels. I do already have the solar shine, but I wanted to grab an extra of all of these. Um, I feel like I should have bought like three of each of them because I just love this collection so much. So I grabbed the vacation vibe, the pink paradise, which is pink dragon fruit, wild hibiscus and blush moss. And then we have the solar shine, which is the coconut tuberose and Tonka. So those are the shower gels I grabbed. Those are $3.19. You could not beat that. And then the exciting thing, the Fine Fragrance Mist. This was a bulk of my purchase. So all the Fine Fragrance Mist for $5.95, but the extra 20% off brought them down to $4.76. So basically $5 a piece. So uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Basically half of my purchase was Fine Fragrance Mist, but that is okay. So we're gonna talk about the exciting thing. The Paris Amour. I did grab four of them, two for some of my friends, one for the giveaway for you guys, and then one for myself. So this is the Paris Amour. Um, it's so sad that they canceled this, but can I be honest? I've never smelled this one. So this is going to be my first impressions right here. This is French tulips, apple blossoms, sparkling pink champagne, sandalwood, and creamy musk. Take a trip around the world. Enjoy the, this fragrance inspired by a stroll through the streets of Paris. I was actually going to use my rewards on these but then I realized they were ringing up as $5.95. And even the cashier was like, oh, that's weird. Usually the body care doesn't bring up, like the outlet body care, because this is outlet body care, doesn't usually ring up with the sale prices that are going on in the store. So she's like, oh, that's so cool. Um, so once I found out they were $5.95, I'm like, I'm not using my rewards on these. But so here is the beautiful packaging. I think it's a little juvenile, but I think it's fun. Um, yeah, I've never smelled this. So it's, I'm excited though. Oh, that's good. I get what the hype's about. It's very like springy to me. I think maybe it's that tulips, but I'm getting a little bit of like a bubbly kind of note. Oh, that's really nice. A little woodsy. Yeah, I'm getting that musk now, but I feel like it's more of like a floral scent. This is really nice. Oh, I do like this. I get what the hype is about. And I'm very sorry that this isn't going nationwide, like to all of the stores, you know. You'll probably only find it at outlets. Um, I know some stores had it for SAS, but I feel like you'd have to go to the outlet to find this one. I really hope they do launch this at some point because it's super fun. But if you want to know how to win this Paris Amour body care, all you have to do is make sure you thumbs up the video 
comment down below, hashtag Paris Amour, and please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And um, the giveaway is closing by the date on the screen. Make sure you're 18 years or older and you have a parent's permission. And please make sure you're just subscribed to my channel. So yeah, make sure you're following all those rules. Hashtag Paris Amour. Give this video a thumbs up and then make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Again, the date of when the giveaway closes is right here. And I will probably announce it in a YouTube short. So if you want to get your hands on one of these Paris Amours, please enter the giveaway by following all the rules I just said. And then the other two are going to some friends of mine. So I did get the new fall scents, which I'm so excited about because they're cute. So we have blueberry bun cake, which is harvest blueberries, honey drizzle, and fluffy cake. And it says, add a sprinkle of sweetness to your day with the scent of a blueberry bunt cake. And then I also grabbed the pumpkin swirl cake. This is pumpkin spice, caramel toffee, and creamy vanilla. And it says um, the same thing, but it says pumpkin swirl cake. Unfortunately, these are $17.95, so they're not reward eligible. I am going to do a full in-depth one-off review, like how I did with Gingham Glow, at a later date because I would like to wear these but I'm gonna smell them I did smell them in store last week um, when we went to the Apple store there's a Bath and Body Works basically next to it so I did smell them and I really liked both of them I did not pick up strawberry pound cake because that's not the scent for me but let's smell the blueberry bunt cake oh that is so nice oh I love that that's so good I like I don't like gourmands but I like fall gourmands and this just smells like a blueberry like muffin Oh, that smells good. I love it. Just smells like a blueberry muffin. That's all I can pretty much say for my first impressions is that it smells like a blueberry muffin. And I'm going to cross my fingers and hope it lasts a long time. And my favorite of the two, I'm going to be honest, is pumpkin swirl cake. I'm just a pumpkin girl. I love pumpkin spice everything. So, yeah, this one's just better to me. I don't know. It is pumpkin. It's spicy. And then it has just like that little bit of pumpkin, like, like fluffy pumpkin cake. Like a pumpkin loaf. It kind of reminds me of a pumpkin loaf, but there is something super sweet in here. Um, I think it's the creamy vanilla. Um, I don't know if I get like a toffee note, like a caramely note, but I definitely get like a spicy pumpkin vanilla. And I am so happy that they are bringing out like different kinds of gourmands because the gourmand body care has been lacking and I just love this packaging super super darling so that was everything for my little combined haul I know this video was super long um so if you guys enjoyed make sure this video big thumbs up comment down below hashtag Paris Amour if you want to be entered into this giveaway and if you like seeing my face about the body works fragrance or Disney content sometimes make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button because it's free to you it helps me out so very much and you guys can always change your mind later thanks again guys for watching today's video and i'll see you in the next one bye